So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges and Eververse. If you guys don't know, we usually check Eververse and seasonal challenges for the week. So that way you guys can know what's up and have your plans accordingly. This is obviously for the people that are not in front of the, the, their screen. But if you also do just want to support the channel and view the view video, I also do appreciate that. So other than that, let's look at what this week has to offer. So into the depths four, complete the week four into the depths mission. This is not hard. I'm literally going to do this right after this video. Uh, Frontline salvager four. Complete salvage or deep dive activities while using a void subclass. Additional, additionally, defeat hive anywhere in the system. Not hard at all. The hive part is going to be super easy. You can go to, to specific areas. The most annoying one is going to be the, doing the salvage or deep dives. I would most likely just do the deep dives. The deep dives are a little bit more fun than salvage. Salvage, you can really just turn your brain off. Uh, mostly because I feel like the activity is too, too, too small for four, six players, I think uh just because at least the enemy density is not as high so that's why i say that uh commendable salvager give or receive commendations and match made salvage activities uh this one i mean you might as well you might as well do salvage at this point then since you have to do this in salvage this one shouldn't be too hard i don't remember how many commendations you can get at one go i think it's five maybe or three i don't know uh, deep Diver successfully complete encounters at any depth in deep dive activities. Pressure trial encounters grant increased progress. Um, I'm pretty sure the the pressure trial encounter thing is the uh, the motes of light that you find, like the like the Tolan light. I think that's what that is. If that's the case, that won't be too hard. The hard I think the hardest part will just get your teammates to actually activate it with you. Uh, mod collector unlock artifact mo artifact mods. 12 out of 12 uh not hard just continue to do what you're doing and leveling up the the artifact and you'll get this eventually momentum crash oh momentum wait yeah momentum controls up let's go defeat guardians and momentum control earn bonus progress for with zone advantage this is going to be pretty simple because momentum control is like really really fast uh, darkest nightfall complete any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher you have to do this three times uh yeah this one's not hard it's just gonna be a little bit annoying because i don't like to run nightfalls that much just because i get bored um defeat targets with auto rifles hand cannons and scout rifles and gambit bonus progress is granted for defeating guardians um this one's not too hard i think the hand cannon one's gonna be rough and the scout rifle and the auto rifle one shouldn't be too rough but definitely the hand cannon and the scout rifle this is definitely going to be one where you're going to be completing this within like the season I'm probably going to complete this within a week or two just because uh, I play more Gambit than the regular pl player. And then Precision Calibration, Calibrate Marksman Weapons, Scout Rifles, uh, Sniper Rifles, and Linear Fusion Rifles by landing Precision Final Blows. Bonus Progress Against Guardians. So that is your Seasonal Challenges for Week 4. That's going to be kind of annoying. I just haven't completed this one. Yeah. Uh, not a big fan we're gonna check to see what's up with the uh with the things this week what would savathun's throne with the light blade it might be rough and i know yeah fucking gms are up now so that's gonna be a rough one to do and what was it momentum controls up supremacy i think it's always gonna be up but i might be wrong about that and then gambit has nothing new so that's pretty much it i'm pretty much excited i already have two pieces of the season pass armor which is pretty exciting considering i just need like what one two one more level because i'm at 75 so 15 more and then i'll get up to 90 which is i'll probably get this within this week maybe depending on how hard i go in destiny 2 but i'm gonna be real with you guys it's it's rough man it's rough trying to like motivate myself to make or to just play the game right now as for eververse i did check it check it before i make the video and let me tell you guys it is stacked this week so for the first shader empirical imperative is a really good shader let me actually change my armor because i used this in last week's video videos i should say uh we'll do this one fuck it <clears throat> so empirical imperative is a pretty cool shader it has a yellow glow which is really cool uh definitely pick this shader up i know the yellow is pretty like off-putting but this shader can be really, really good if you find pieces that to work around the yellow because it gives this like plate armor a really cool like a uh, carbon fiber look and has this really cool blue as well. Definitely like pick this up and try to work around the yellow. 
Um, we have Arable's Glance, which is pretty wild. I have made a review for this, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll put it up right now. But Arable's Glance is such a dope shader. It is the best black we have in the game. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, I see a lot of orange in this. The armor set that I currently have is not a good example because a lot of it will have different colors taken. Obviously, you guys can see from just it has a lot of secondary pl uh, places. But if you combine your armor perfectly, you'll get like a really good black uh, color for all of it. So definitely pick this one up. It's a really good one. And if you have the um, let me just show you guys real quick, a small example of it. So this is this is Aurobo's Glance. But if you have you have a uh, where is this shader? If you have this Omnicronia, it's like uh, it, it has the same color as the orange, but just for plate armor. So if you want to have like a cool like color combination of the Omnicronia and Orobos Glance, it's really, really cool. Again, in the review for Orobos Glance, I actually do talk about it in a portion of it. So definitely check it out if you're interested to see what this arrow, what this shader has to offer. Lattice Entrance, Sweeper Simulant, which is, I think, yeah, it's, it's funny, definitely funny, but I'm not picking that up. All done. <clears throat> Wow, that was okay. That was, that was ass. Uh, we have X marks the spot projection. We have the Nexus Sunrise for the, the exotic glaive. I forget what it's called. I am not the biggest fan of this glaive, like, at all. I, I shouldn't say that. It's cool. I actually did like it, but at the same time, I don't care about it, if that makes any sense. Um, we have Outwit for Outlast. This is a really cool ornament. I'm definitely going to be picking this up because I didn't pick it up, obviously. Boom. And then we have a war torn peregrine, which is it's cool. I mean, I don't know, man. I just can't get behind buying like exotic, like ghosts, ships and sparrows because uh, they have like no, no real worth, I guess. I don't know. I definitely need to make that video explaining why they don't have worth, at least to me. Decadent shell aside from like aesthetically because like aesthetically I like this. This just looks really cool But like I don't know why I would get this like uh, Only only for it to be like, oh, yeah, it looks cool. That's why I'm gonna get it. But it's also like I don't want to spend uh, two th almost 3,000 bright dust for it uh, Cher Cherubic which is I don't care about that and rising dawn, which is the, the where you get the sword out. Yeah <clears throat> Yeah, and then for sh the shaders at the bottom, we have Amethyst Veil, another good black shader. And I know people are immediately going to be like, I see a lot of colors uh, again. It just depends on which armor set, armor pieces you're using. For me, uh, I'm using just a lot of pieces that take off colors, which is why you see a lot of uh, blue right here, uh, white, silver. It just, again, depends on what armor you're using. It's also a really good purple glow. Uh, Sunrise Warrior, which is a pink one, which I actually like pink, so I don't find this like aesthetically uh, displeasing. I like pink. It's just I would never wear it just because uh, I don't know. It's I guess it's too bright. I don't know. Uh, 44 steel. It's a good uh, like copper brown color. It's I like it. It definitely is cool, uh, but it's just one of those like when will I ever use this? I do like how it looks with the chest piece, though. Chest piece looks really good, really good with it. And then uh, Celestial Dome which I don't really care about this one, to be quite honest. But again, if you guys don't have any of these, definitely pick them up because you might never know when they might be useful. Definitely pick up Arable's Glance. Uh, Empirical Imperative, I would say pick it up as well. Uh, Amethyst Veil, for sure, pick it up if you don't have it. And then that's pretty much it. These three, you can really skip if you want. To be fair though, these shaders are old as dick, uh, with Amethyst Veil being the oldest or the most recent one because we have two Forsaken and two uh, Iron. This one is from, uh, what's it called? um season of the forge which is quite a while ago so let me know what you guys think about it i am uh, pretty excited for everything but destiny 2 if i'm being quite honest uh diablo 4 has been fucking amazing like phenomenal actually and i have like really no negative things to say about diablo aside from this cash shop is uh wild um i've also been playing just other games as well like street fighter 6 Street Fighter 6 is amazing, and I will do some fashion for it. Not a lot, but a little bit of it because I do think it's really cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.